welcome back to Play and Trade Guitars. I'm John, that's Zach behind the camera, and this is Play and Trade Guitars, where we play it and trade it. We're continuing our series looking at the Les Paul, the best-selling new models from both Epiphone and Gibson. We're picking up where we left off today, looking at the Les Paul Studio. So we've got this beautiful Alpine white Les Paul Studio from Epiphone, and this awesome Tangerine Burst Les Paul Studio from Gibson. Our goal is to put them through the paces. We're gonna put them on the bench, talk specs, and of course, we're gonna plug them in and play them. Play and Trade Guitars is giving away this Gibson Custom Shop Les Paul to one of you. How to enter? Subscribe to Play and Trade Guitars on YouTube and we'll give it away when we hit 50,000 subscribers. Unzip this case and get to work on this beautiful Gibson Les Paul Studio. At the top, make sure you're subscribed. We are giving away a Gibson Custom Shop Les Paul, beautiful R7 and candy apple green when we hit 50,000 subscribers. Gleam link down below. And also, if you're interested in any one of these guitars brand new, we partnered with Zounds to make it easy for you. Link down in the description. You can buy the guitar direct through Zounds. So let's see if this is worth your money and get to work on this Gibson Les Paul Studio. Let's flip this open and take a look. Oh my gosh, is that the winning? finish right there. This is a beautiful tangerine burst on this Les Paul Studio and one of the best pieces of rosewood I've seen on a new guitar in a while actually. The Gibson Les Paul Studio fits into the modern collection from Gibson which means you're also going to get a few appointments that you won't find on the more traditional models. Things like ultra weight relief. So as I take this out of the case you're going to find that this guitar is super light. They've got a real slim taper 60s style neck so if you like that slimmer 60s style neck I can tell you right out of the gate. Uh, it's got a real slim neck, lightweight. I would be hard pressed to guess that this is even eight pounds. Super light, they've got ultra weight relief going on. It's still got a maple top, solid maple top, mahogany body, beautiful tangerine burst. You can see all that wood grain, looks fantastic. Also, as part of the modern collection, you're gonna have a coil tap function in the volume controls. And we'll take a look at all that on the bench. But just first impressions, I mean, Zach, would, if, if it'd be hard pressed to beat this tangerine burst finish in terms of looks. So I'm really hoping that it lives up to the beautiful looks on the bench and when we plug this thing in. So why don't we head to the bench and talk specs and then we'll plug it in and play it. Starting up at the top of the headstock, one thing you'll notice, since we're looking at the Gibson version, this is the classic Gibson open book headstock, which looks beautiful. Screen Les Paul model studio on the truss rod cover. Got a graph tech nut. Um, we'll get a measurement on that in a second. Beautiful piece of rosewood. I love the streaks in there. It looks almost like Brazilian rosewood. It's kind of a crazy piece of rosewood. I'm glad to see that they're having a good supply of wood there. And then coming down to the body, tangerine burst finish showing a lot of wood grain. It's going to be a carved maple cap on a mahogany body. This has a retail price of $15.99. So a Gibson Les Paul Studio is going to run you $15.99 compared to the Epiphone Les Paul Studio, which is $4.99, which you can check out that video too. Strings are loosened up. Let's take this stop piece off. It's the easiest way to get at the guts here. We're looking at a nut width of 1.69. We're at 0.81 at first fret, going up to 0.9 at the 12th fret. So fairly slim, they call that the slim taper neck. And this piece of rosewood, I just can't get over. I mean, it, it really looks like actual Brazilian rosewood. It's not, but it, with those streaks, it almost has that character. 22 frets on here, comfortable to play neck. Moving over here to the electronics and the hardware, we've got a Nashville style bridge. So we've got our screws pan, uh, pointing back towards the tailpiece. Speed knobs, like I said, four of those. You've got volume, volume, tone, tone, and then a coil tap feature. Uh, which is nice. Comparing that to the Epiphone, it's actually different. This is a coil tap, which we'll talk about when we get to the electronics, compared to a coil split on the Epiphone, so there is a subtle difference. So 490R in neck and 498T is a very classic Gibson configuration for pickups. In fact, something that's kind of interesting about that pairing is that that's what you'll find on the highest end Les Paul Custom. One thing you're noticeably missing compared to the other Les Pauls is binding. Well, that binding takes time. You can watch our factory tour and actually watch how they do it. It's an incredible process. But if you're willing to forego the binding, in fact, with some finishes, in some cases, I think it looks better without binding, you'll save yourself a lot of money. So retail price point $15.99 versus much more expensive on the Les Paul standards, which we'll talk about in our series as well. And uh, down in the cavity, you'll typically see indications for the finish, the model type, and then if you get an angle, look here, Zach, you'll see the maple cap. So this is a solid maple cap. One thing when you check out our Epiphone video, the Epiphone is actually a piece of maple cap, but it's got a it's got a maple veneer over the top. So it's actually not a solid piece of carved maple. 
This on the American Les Paul Studio is giving you a solid carved maple top just without the binding. Uh, pickups, we'll get a quick measurement on those. Here we see a bridge reading on the 498T of 13.5, which is pretty hot. And then we have a neck reading of 7.7 .7 on the 490R, combined reading of 4.9. Now something interesting I mentioned, this is a coil tap guitar, not a coil split. So what's the difference? In a coil split, we're grounding one of the rails of the humbucker and we're dropping it out, effectively making it kind of like a single coil. This is what's called a coil tap. You're actually just changing the length of the wire that's wound around the pickups, which kind of is, you can think of it almost as like a filter switch or just changing it from a hotter output to a less hot, maybe like a vintage style output. So pulling these knobs, the difference between the Epiphone I'll point out, if I pull these knobs, it's actually not going to do a thing to the multimeter reading. So I'm looking at the bridge pickup. Whether this is engaged or not, you're not gonna see this drop in half like you would on a coil split. And that's because when we demo this guitar, you'll hear kind of a more subtle difference. We're not comparing a humbucker to a single coil, like a coil split and a coil tap. We're kind of playing with two different tones. We've got the tension back on the strings. I'll give an initial. Good ring to it. Action is nice and low. Again, small neck. So if you're comfortable with having a smaller, slim neck, a lot of people love that. Uh, this might be the guitar for you. Uh, also, with this ultra-modern weight relief, we can take a weight before we flip it over and look at the electronics. Seven pounds, nine ounces. So we're looking at, call it 7.6 pounds. Uh, which is, for a Les Paul, incredibly light. Uh, they are removing material, wood material. They're routing out all over underneath this maple cap to reduce the weight uh, pretty dramatically. Measures in at 1.83. So I've had Les Pauls come through with two inch body thicknesses. So you're getting, on the studio, you're getting a slightly thinner overall body. So I guess a thinner piece of mahogany. Oh, we got a circuit board in here. Okay, so we got a Gibson circuit board, Gibson pots. You can see the double height of those uh, coil tap pots. Um, nothing wrong with a circuit uh, board in a guitar. It's wired exactly the same as one that's uh, the one that would be hand wired. However, I will tell you, if you're into modifying guitars, this is going to make your life a little bit more complicated. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Let's them make more guitars more quickly. And another big thing to talk about, any Gibson guitar that you buy has nitrocellulose finish. So it's got this gloss nitrocellulose finish, old school nitro. Um, the way that this finish is going to age compared to poly, which is used on Epiphone guitars, most other manufacturers who have evolved to poly, uh, the nitro will actually age and breathe a little bit more over time. So a lot of people who are shopping for a guitar take that into account as being a big plus because the way that this guitar will breathe and age over time can potentially make it more resonant, so something to keep in mind. Uh, but so far, so good. I'm loving the setup out of the box. Guitar feels nice and light. It's got that slim neck, so why don't we plug it in and play it? We'll start with some DI clean tones, and we'll move on to a track and uh, crank it up and let it rip. Can't wait to do it. Let's check it out.
All right, great feel. Uh, if you like that slim neck, it's hard to beat a studio because you really are going to experience the lightweight, slim neck, all those easy to play features that a lot of people look for. But a beautiful finish, great playing, uh, fast playing guitar, nice setup. Uh, no complaints whatsoever. For $15.99, it could be yours. Check the link below from Zounds. And uh, make sure you check out our comparison of this guitar to the Epiphone Les Paul Studio, which retails for $4.99. And then you can really see what makes a Gibson. Uh, what, what do they say? It's, it's only a Gibson is good enough. We'll let you decide. Uh, drop a comment below. I've got this Gibson Les Paul Studio around my neck. Feels great. I'm going to give you five reasons why you should buy the Gibson Les Paul Studio over the Epiphone Les Paul Studio. Now, I'm going to do the same thing when we get to the Epiphone video, so check that out. But ultimately, you decide which one is right for you. I'll give you five strengths, real standout strengths of the Gibson. Number one, we have a beautiful rosewood fretboard over the Powell Farrell fretboard on the Epiphone, but you're paying for it. Number two, we have the ultra modern weight relief. As part of the modern series, they have gone to town weight relieving this guitar. So if you want a Les Paul under eight pounds, this is actually almost a full pound less than the Epiphone. So the ultra modern weight relief on this guitar will leave your back much happier if you really want something under eight pounds for a Les Paul, which is really unheard of. So this is the guitar that'll do that for you. Number three, nitro finish. If you want a guitar with nitro finish, it's got to be Gibson because on the Epiphone, you're going to have poly. Is there anything wrong with that? No, of course not. But if you really want the attractiveness of an old school nitro finish that's going to age and uh, bleed with you over time and break in with you over time, it's got to be the Gibson. That's the only place you'll find the nitro finish between the two. Number four, classic pickup configuration. We have a 490R in neck and a 498T. In the bridge position, they sound fantastic. Number five reason. You decide if this is a good reason or not. It says Gibson on the headstock. You're paying for Gibson on the headstock. You're getting the authentic Gibson headstock. This is made in the United States at the Nashville plant. And we're also going to talk about when it says Gibson on the headstock, it's a lot easy. It's much easier for resale value down the road. And it's also a lot easier to trade. So if you decide that you want to trade this out for who knows, a Strat, something else, American Strat, Someone is going to be much more willing to trade something that says Gibson on the headstock. It's just a fact of life. It doesn't mean that you need to spring for it if you'd prefer the Epiphone. We'll talk about the reasons to get that one in the next video. $15.99, it's yours. Make sure you check out the Zounds link below and enter to win our beautiful custom shop Les Paul. You do that in the Gleam link in the description. When we hit 50,000 subscribers, we're going to give away that green top. I can't believe we're doing it, but yes, we are. It's going to go to one of you so soon. Thanks for being a part of playing Drake Darts. See you guys soon.